Mm. We did that, girl. Yes, right. Like he did. God did. He did. We yeah. we just participated. Right. We were just an open vessel to go ahead and get it done. Yes, yes. But we are excited because we have graduated. And baby, you will find out on the new episode of the Patrix and, and Patrika Show. Talk to the tweet. So. <laughs> I look kind of Kind of lost my mojo. <laughs> okay. That's okay, huh? Because we well, still got going on. Tune in and Spotify, iHeart. Right. We're on iHeart, baby. Yeah. And Apple Podcasts. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. don't forget Amazon Music. Yeah, Amazon Music. <laughs> Yes, yes, indeed. All right. Then. Google Podcasts. All right. Yep. That is so awesome that we are doing this. So, how have you been, girlfriend? I'm good. Oh, I got to get my hand out of that, don't Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your hand out of that. Bishop. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> she dropped the camera. I dropped the camera on She me. dropped the phone on me. me. Where it go? Over oh, there, hunch. Okay, let me see if I can grab it. I, don't I think I can get because you know you got too much cord. Let's down and we'll catch up on that later. <laughs> no, we'll catch you later. Okay. okay, we are now going live on YouTube. Dude. What's up, you? What's up, you two? It's your girls. It's your favorite twins in honey. the world. The graduating twins. <laughs> the gear. Yeah. So, if you're not watching YouTube, then make sure you tune in to iHeart the Radio. No, iHeart Podcast. Right. And let me tell you, this is a deep, deep conversation that we're about to bring to you. Yes. Okay. Unfiltered. So, anybody out there that needs a uplifting, needs motivation, inspiration, and all that good stuff, you might need then some. And then some, because we all need that. It's Going into the summer, honey. So we want you to tune in. Tell a friend and tune in. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's get to it. Pop, pop, pop. Let's go. Let's jump on in this stuff here. Okay. So, so as, as you see, okay. Do we need the um, graduation music? Sing it. Dun, dun, da, da, dun, da, 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 Oh, see, that's Acapolo. <laughs> we did the Acapolo. That's <laughs> <laughs> how good. Okay, yeah, that's, so that's our graduation. We signed up. Ooh, I think I have mine's a bit too high. Okay. Give some Free air. Free yourself. That's first and foremost. So, oh, God, I think this is the best outfit we've ever worn. Yes, we should. Yes. We have worn this together in some years. We won't say how long, but some years. Some years, honey. But yeah. this is a new day, new season. Who says you can't start over and, and do that? Right? And do better, because you yeah. know better. <laughs> yeah. We want to encourage you that right. you, if, if there's something that you're going after, don't let nothing stop you. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, our topic today is graduating, graduating from toxicity. And in life. And in life. It's a lot of things you gotta graduate from, Mm honey. It's a lot of steps to get to this. Capping down here, you see, it don't come easy. It ain't easy, honey. You gotta go do some things. Oh yeah, you gotta definitely have to learn and grow. And sometimes it's growing pain, Mm -hmm. honey. Joy and pain, yeah, yeah. Sunshine and rain, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) <laughs> yes, what she said. Growth pains, baby. Growth pains ain't no joke, huh? No joke. They hurt. Sometimes you don't even want to get out of bed because of the pain and so excruciating. Right. But let me share a little thing with you. Um, Go ahead. This past week, my son graduated from college. Oh, brother. Oh, yes. Yeah, so for all the graduates out there, we congratulate you, honey. Congratulations. We know you have worked for what you have attained and achieved. We just right, want right. to encourage you to keep on going, honey. Don't let nobody tell you nothing. Because, baby, you you are a, uh, what? A boss. You a are boss. a superstar uh, in your own yes, right. Yes, So, congratulations to all those 20 Accomplishments, yes. Accomplishments. People. And those that are still going on. Yeah, keep going. You see where they at today? You're going to get there, too. Right. Huh. You're going to get there just like us. Yes. That, <laughs> if anything, it should encourage you. My right. back hurts, so... Hey. I don't like that. 
It won't melt by my sleeve. It hurts my neck. It's right there. Can you punch me in my neck? Up high. Up. Down oh. low. Right there. Yeah. Oh, it hurts. Right Look, let's get to the story. Right. It ain't burnt. Burnt? You ain't no baby. Well, you might have a little gas pocket. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I got a gas pocket. Okay, ow, oh, that hurt me. <laughs> Shoot, beat me in my back, y'all. Wow. Okay. okay, so this idea came from the one and only, the brilliant graduate of all time. I mean, oh, wait. You're brilliant, too. Thank you. And she's graduated, too, huh? Yes, I have. <laughs> Let's tell her what we graduated from. A lot of things. But Ooh, today, things. we're going to talk about this graduation. This graduation is bigger than any graduation you've ever seen in your life. Oh, yeah. This is graduation from... <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh-uh. <laughs> from toxic environment. Toxic environment toxic and people. people and things that should not be around you. Right. So, and you know, it took us a while to get that. It took a minute. Honey. I mean, it took a moment to get this mm-hmm. cat down on her. But we persevered. Yes, sir. And we fought to yes, finish. Ma'am. And we went through the rain, the pain, and the shame. Yeah, it took some nights of crying. Oh, yeah. Some nights of moaning, groaning. Mm-hmm. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Prayer, prayer, change. Like, like, uh, like she said, pray, pray, pray. put a P on that prayer. Yeah. Put, push it out. Pray. Pray to some hand. Push. So, so, our advice that we would like to give to those out there going through <laughs> life's schooling because everything is a learning lesson right Mm -hmm. so when you find something or someone that is toxic in your life you gotta learn how to not let it persevere persevere and leave it with me right because if it ain't paying the bills Mm -mm. if it ain't keeping a roof over your head it ain't feeding you. It ain't feeding you. Putting gas in your mobile. Oh, you are clothing it. Right. You cannot let it affect you in any form or fashion. No man. You got to keep rolling, honey. Yes, because, ma'am. And the way to do that is say, "Oh, that food is crazy." <laughs> you know, recognize the sign. I must be. I must have something valuable. That's just trying to come at me. Yes. Recognize those signs, honey. Recognize the signs. You want to wear this cap down? You better pay attention to what we're saying. Say, yes, exactly. exactly. <laughs> she said that right. So, you know, the signs, the, the red flags of toxic environments right. are, you know, someone in a joking way putting mm-hmm. you down. Mm-hmm. Or someone that ignores you. Yeah, you know, Rick Ross. I'm constantly just, disappointing. We just came across Rick Ross. Yeah. And he said something was, so profound. Yeah. He said, you have all these friends and family members you grow up with, and, and, you, and then you see you have one light, two light, three light. And I hate, I didn't give you five lights. But the people that you are most close to or think that you have shared some things with, they're the ones that don't like you. Oh, what's they up with that? Like you. But it's sad. That's true. It's, it's painful. True. It and, and I hate that it has to come out like that on on but it's true. Media. Somebody got to say, and it's true, and it's it's authentic, and it's real, and it's raw, and you know, and you don't want to bring too much light to them suckers out there like that. But you have to be real with it. You gotta be honest. You got to recognize and tell the truth. Yeah, recognize mm-hmm. the truth, and and, and 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 do the things that's necessary to you know move away from that type of environment. Yes, sir. If that environment is not healthy for you, if you're crying all the time, if you're or you not, feel sad, or you're losing aptitude, I mean, aptitude, 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 right. aptitude, okay, it's best to take your bags and roll on out the door. Right on. Keep it moving. And don't look back. Don't Please don't. Look back. And they do come at you. They do come at the finish with yes, the they do. they do. And um, it, it's, it's really up to you. You have to make up your mind. To want to have a healthy environment and to find healthier ways to deal with toxic people. It gives you peace. For yourself. It gives you peace from all understanding. And I mean, you love your enemies, but you ain't got to hang out with you them. You don't have to deal with them. You don't have to deal let with them. Love them way oh, over there. Way over there. Roll. Right. But no, just wait. make sure you keep your space right. and your environment right. healthy and, and, and pure and, and how you want it to be. Yeah. How you envision it. Absolutely. Oh, I love this segment of graduating from toxicity, honey. Yes. This is one of the top. You know, and we had a uh, show about toxicity, removing yourself. Yeah. On our podcast, and it was the highest rated show 
<laughs> that we've ever people had. Need that. It's a lot people of people that are dealing really with narcissists. Dealing with it. Yeah. So if you deal with narcissists, you got a bad book on it. And the only way to solve it and to get through it is to talk about it. And that's what we're going to bring it up. So you might not bring it up, but we're going to bring it up. Because right. we're going to recognize those things. Because we want you to have peace of mind. We want you to be happy, joyous. The joy of the Lord is within you. That's what we want you to have. Ain't that right? Right. And this is the thing. Have you ever dated a narcissist? Do Or someone that's been toxic Are you asking in a relationship? Me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know I, I have. have. I know I have. But yes. Honey, cut loose like a magoo. Yes, I, I have cut loose. I don't horses. play that. And it was very toxic. Mm -hmm. It was very toxic. It was um, uh, tiring. It was uh, excruciating. It was painful. It was disappointing. It was all those bad heartbreaking word names you want to say. Heartbreaking. We had to give dictionary out. You know, they don't do dictionary now. You Google it though. But all mm. the bad names of a feeling that you ever want to feel. A deal with a narcissist. Oh, and, and, and the thing is, they gaslight and they flip things and they deflect. make it your fault. As soon as you see that, it's a red light, cut that loose. Yeah, if you see someone always joking about something on your appearance or things that you do, always putting you down, uh, making it seem like it's always your fault, deflect. That's a toxic environment. So yes. you need to, you know, and what made, when you were in a toxic relationship, what made you stay in it when, it, when the narcissism? Began when even when, when they would saw say it. something negative towards you, what did you what would make you stay? Well, see, in the beginning with the narcissist, first they butter you up, so they make you feel good, they they give you gifts, they say sweet things oh. to you. So it's a gradual thing, okay. With some okay, it's gradual that and you so, experience, yeah. And so, about her so, <laughs> so people or women or men, we tend to hang on to the good parts and the good times, oh. so that's what you're remembering. So you're like, but well, this is just a little blip, a little. Hey. In the relationship, a little stick in the yeah, stuff. just a little bit, you know, it'll pass by, and then by that time, before you notice it so much, and you're going through it, is you you wasted a long time with this person mm -hmm. because you've been convinced that you have hope that it's gonna change, it's gonna get better, it's not so bad, you know, it wasn't that bad, you know, we still have good times, they're still around because the most thing that humans want, and it's, it's in the Bible and the Word, is that you a woman will long for a man. People need people. Yeah. Period. So when you come across that, and there are signs, it's best to recognize it in the beginning and cut it loose. But as humans, we are hopeful. We're longing for that companionship. So we hang in there, hoping for the best, and it gets worse and worse and worse. And sometimes I may even keep. <laughs> so I, I, I yeah, would say, you, run, but but how far is wrong? And then, and then I, and. and <laughs> You know, I'm not a clinical psychologist or anything, no. but I am a minister. Yeah, we are. And, you know, and I say when you go through something like that and how you can overcome it, it does take time. Yes, it takes it a does. lot of time, it but it time. takes you deciding for yourself yes. that you want to be healthy and happy and whole. And happiness doesn't come from someone else. It does you not. You have to find your own Within. happiness. Things that make you happy. Like for me, Traveling is my happy thing. Oh, yeah, we like Ooh, to travel. Ooh, I don't on no cruise ship now. <laughs> that, oh, that makes bro. me happy. You gonna make me cry? Uh, and then not only that, let's go to the small things, because some people may not travel a lot. But, right. you know, um, uh, reading a good book, or, may, ooh, I love to walk. If I can walk. That's clear your mind. It clears my mind. It makes me feel good about myself. It builds my self-esteem, because I know I'm doing something that's going to better myself, my, my body, and my mind. Right, and so, right. So, you know, those are some things that you can do and then seek advice from, you know, a minister, counselor, or whatever, and have, have your surrounding people around you pray for you. Yeah, or drink it. Or with you. A sip on some tea. It'll help clean the mind. And, oh, yeah. mm. and it gives you a bowel movement, too. Go to the toilet, folks. <laughs> I like that, though. I like that. That's toxic. Yeah. See, I was being serious. That's it's detox. Detox. But that's detox. Detox. The toxicity. That's right. You detox from it. And then and you just continue to do that. But sometimes, sometimes you can be fooled. <laughs> so if you feel like you don't see the signs, ask a friend, a real friend, if they see something well, that you don't friend. see. Right. I don't she tell, don't tell what me. I see. But she don't listen to impact. No, I do. I'm, I'm learning. I graduated now, girl, so I listen. <laughs> I know you put that tassel on her side. I'll tassel for someone else. <laughs> I just don't <laughs> be around. <laughs> <laughs> 
put the filler hose through the hatch. That's right. That's right. So we tip, tip it to the tassel. <laughs> do it again. Tip it to the tassel. <laughs> there you go, boo. So okay. if y'all want to graduate, honey, keep listening and tune in to these sisters here. <laughs> we want to help you graduate. We want to help you get a happy life. And we praying for you. We yes, praying because we, we some are, prayer warriors, we too. We are inspirational. <laughs> See, that's how we graduated. Inspiration. We graduated. Inspiration of Cat. University <laughs> of DGFU. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, stay tuned so you can know what that is. DGFU, you want to graduate? Let's know because we have diplomas for everybody. And certifications, too. <laughs> All right. And look forward to our tour. We're going to have a uh, DGFU tour coming to a place near oh, you. I like that, yeah. Oh, yeah, DGFU tours. How do we do those, too? Nice Thanks for tuning in to the Patricia and Patricia, Patricia show. show. Talk to the twins. Oh, she did that. So, sisters. <laughs> <laughs>